Laravel 11 is one of the most exciting versions of the framework for a long time. Quite a lot of changes and new features, let's explore them. I have made a new Laravel project and we are checking what changes and new features we have. The most significant change for Laravel 11 is the more minimalistic application skeleton. When you install a new Laravel project, the folder structure will look like this. There is a lot of folders that are not there like console, exceptions and middleware, roots, middlewares, and exceptions are now registered in the bootstrap app file. And also some config files, they also removed some config files, this change has a backstory. At first, when Taylor introduced Slimmer Skeleton, all config files were removed. However, Taylor wasn't happy with this change and introduced a slimmer config version. So, if you look at the config folder of Laravel 10, you will find these files missing in Laravel 11, Broadcasting, Cores, Hashing, Sanctum and View. But you can publish them manually, with this command, php artisan config publish all, also, some config values inside the existing files were removed in favor of automations inside the framework itself. Now, speaking about sanctum and broadcasting configuration, Laravel 11 has no roots slash api.php file, and sanctum isn't installed by default. You can install the API scaffolding with the php artisan install api artisan command. When you run this artisan command, the roots API file will be created and registered in the Bootstrap app, and Laravel Sanctum will be installed. You must only add the Laravel Sanctum has API tokens trait to the user model. Similarly to the API changes, broadcasting also became installable. To prepare the application, you can use the PHP artisan install broadcast artisan command. Now with Laravel 11, there are a few new default settings, the default database for Laravel was changed to SQLite. Laravel 11 comes with new make, artisan commands. Now, you can create enums, interfaces, and classes, to make a new enum we will use the php artisan make enum command, and for the class we will use the php artisan make class command. And lastly for the interface, we can use the php artisan make interface command, and those are the new make commands in Laravel and they are all located inside the app folder, Laravel 11 will allow limiting eagerly loaded records natively, without external packages. Before Laravel 11, you needed a separate package eloquent eager limit by Jonas. From Laravel 11, the casts will be provided in the protected method casts instead of the protected property casts, also, now it is possible to provide an array inside the casts, this is a non-breaking change. You only need to know that the casts method is prioritized over the casts property. There's a new memoization function called once. This function ensures that a callable is called only once, returning the same result on subsequent calls. And finally let's check the new welcome page for the fresh Laravel project, so let's run php artisan serve and go and check it, finally, Laravel 11 dropped support for php 8.1. Now, php 8.2 is the minimum requirement. And those are the biggest changes from Laravel 10 to Laravel 11, keep in mind that the skeleton changes are optional, the old syntax functionality still works and isn't removed or deprecated. So you may upgrade to Laravel 11 and still continue using the old folder structure. Did I miss anything important? Pretty sure there are more minor tweaks and small new features in Laravel 11. If you want to upgrade your applications to Laravel 11 and use the new features, read the official documentation upgrade guide. Or, if you want to automate the upgrade process. You can use a service like Laravel Shift, and that's it for our small video to cover the biggest changes in Laravel 11, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.